In this episode of Ricky Remembers, Ricky remembers children's birthday parties in the Philippines in the 80s. Ricky remembers children's birthday parties in the Philippines in the 1980s. Before I get to that topic, um, as usual, as I've been doing in the past few episodes, before I get into that topic, um, I want to get into the comments from uh, last episode's topic, that caravan that's drawn by, by, by cows selling rattan furniture or rattan home goodies. Gold Rodriguez commented that these caravans were actually from Pangasinan. I don't know if they came all the way from Pangasinan. Did that cow travel all the way from Pangasinan to Manila? But it was from Pangasinan and that the, the driver or the, the person manning that, that caravan, his whole family is actually inside or their, their home is inside so they would probably sleep there their stuff would be inside that caravan as well. Kasi nga galing pa sila sa Pangasinan. Uh, so thank you to, to Gold Rodriguez for that uh, additional information about those caravans carrying rattan furniture or rattan home goods all the way from Pangasinan. Thanks Gold. Gold is one of our true fans or one of our true subscribers. She watches everything and comments on everything. I think she's one of my two one of my two loyal fans and subscribers. The other one is Leon Victor Uy. Leon is, I used to work with him uh, back in the day in uh, Group M. Hi, Leon. Thank you for subscribing, for always watching, and for always commenting. And of course, thank you to Gold Rodriguez for always commenting and watching the Ricky Remembers videos. Uh, hopefully, we get more true fans and true subscribers and true viewers. Uh, so please, if you're watching this, please click subscribe below and click on the notification bell as well so that you get notified every time there's a new video here in Ricky Remembers. And please like and comment also and share the, the videos if you do like them. So, to the topic at hand today, Ricky Remembers children's birthday parties in the 80s in the Philippines. This topic was actually suggested by my friend Martina Lobregat. Martina, if you're watching, this episode is for you. Remember, I told you I would dedicate it to you because you suggested this awesome topic. So Martina, hi, and hi to your daughter Carmen as well. Martina Lobregat remembers those children's birthday parties in the Philippines. In my context, it will be the children's birthday parties in the 80s. I remember children's birthday parties back then were very simple affairs, not like the children's birthday parties now uh, where it's an elaborate affair, an elaborate um, event. Back in the day when we would be celebrating our birthdays, as I mentioned, we had the Goldilocks uh, mocha flavored cake, right? So that, was, that would be the centerpiece of it. That would be a highlight already. That was a big deal already for us. But more than that, <clears throat> I remember our parents or our uncles or our aunts would need to rent these rattan chairs. I'm sure you remember these chairs. They were, <laughs> they were very light chairs and they had this net that was the seat, you know, like this plastic or nylon seat that was woven. You knew that was the seat. Uh, I don't know where you go to actually rent these things, but they were always there. They were always the same chairs. This was pre-mono block days, so this was before mono block was available or, or uh, prevalent in in Manila. So before we rented mono blocks, we rented those rattan chairs for birthday parties. So it would be a staple in these children's birthday parties. We would also have, you know, just these simple balloons. These simple uh, birthday balloons that I think also originated from just the same place. You know, these were very simple balloons with string uh, on them. And they had very simple print on it, very simple uh, fonts. Uh, so nothing fancy. It would just say, happy birthday, happy 8th birthday, Ricky, uh, on black. Black lang siya. Hindi siya, you know, it wasn't these crazy prints or crazy designs. It was a simple red, yellow, green or blue balloon with the black lettering or black font. 
saying the celebrant's name and happy birthday. Uh, I remember these balloons after a while or even when they were inflated they would get sticky they would get sticky uh, or was it when it was deflated it would get sticky but but it was sticky that was the that was the thing I remember about these balloons uh, and of course we would you know we would play around with it where we would inhale the helium and and talk funny but yeah the um, the balloons would get sticky is what I remember it was sticky to the hands or to the fingers when you tried to touch them and then also more than the chairs our parents or our aunts and uncles would also rent these tables I don't know what these tables were called but they also had the same pattern on top of them it was either blue red or green but it had a certain pattern that was uh, the same with with all the tables so you would rent these tables they were foldable I remember they were wooden tables but they had like an aluminum top um, so you would rent these tables they were very low so that the kids it would be at the kids level so they had they either at the kids level but there were also some tables that were for adults but you could rent these tables if you needed extra chairs and tables for the party again uh, these were pre mono block days or plastic furniture days so that was that was very very memorable so the balloons the chairs and the tables and then the loot bags back then they weren't even called loot bags they were <laughs> very cheap and very simple um set up sets up setups back then where Alam niyo yung at ito kailangan kong Tagalogin kasi mas, mas mag, maganda yung dating pag Tagalog eh. Alam niyo yung plastic ng yelo, yung malaking yelo, di ba may plastic yon Yun lang yung gagamitin ng mami namin noon or ng mga mami natin noon, plastic ng yelo. <laughs> Lalagyan mo lang, there would be big boy. Remember Big Boy Bubblegum? There would be Big Boy Bubblegum, there would be Tootsie Roll Candy, there would be Candy Mint, there would be Tarzan, and you know those football shaped, which is weird because American football wasn't popular in the Philippines at all. Those football shaped uh, chocolate candies, and then those generic uh, chocolate coins, those chocolate coin candies. So we would put Big Boy, Tarzan, um, Tootsie Roll, Candy Mint, White Rabbit, uh, parang one of each nga lang yung nilalagay dun eh, dun sa supot ng yellow. And uh, the gold coins, the chocolate coins, and those football shaped coins, and that butter candy. And I think they they would just put one each. It, would, it wasn't a generous uh, helping of these candies that were put in those loot bags uh, every now and then or sometimes there would be plastic balloon in there you know those cheap plastic balloons that sold for like 25 centavos back in the day and lollipop you know that lollipop hindi pa nga chupa chops lollipop it's just a generic lollipop that you can buy in the supermarket back then and they'd put that in the the plastic bag for the ice or yung supot ng yellow and that was it that was the loot bag and in fact you would tie the you would tie the balloon the string of the balloon you would tie into that loot bag to 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 secure it and that was your loot bag so your your plastic ng yellow with the candy and all that bubble gum and all that chocolate tied with the string of the balloon and that was your loot bag from the party um, I com almost forgot uh, the, com the most important part of these uh, children's birthday parties back in the 80s in the Philippines were the games one of which was Pabitin Pabitin was it had you know you had this very fragile very rickety bamboo grid bamboo frame and you would put candies there the same things Bubble, uh, big boy, <laughs> you know, the same goodie bag or loot bag in that plastic, in that yellow, yun yung nakasabit dun sa bamboo frame. And that usually it was the dad who would, it, it was hard because you would have to find a beam 
or something where you could hang the pabitin from and the kids would go after it you know they would pull it, it up and down and the kids would uh, scramble to get the the candies or the goodies and the game would be over the moment some tall kid was able to reach it and pull the whole thing down and everybody would just scramble for it on the floor so that was the pabitin parlor game in those uh, birthday parties the other one is the palayok hit the pot hit the pot so you had this clay pot it was this red brick red clay pot and it would have money inside all these coins inside usually they were one peso 25 centavos 50 centavos it would be filled with coins you know and every now and then a generous ninong or a generous godfather or godmother would put maybe 50 pesos or 100 pesos in there so that some lucky kid would get uh, a big cash reward from the the palayok so the kid would be blindfolded and they would be given this stick and they would use the stick it was like the piñata it was like the piñata or like the piñata here in the US so he or she would be the birthday celebrant would be given a stick and they would try to end the blindfold and they would try to hit this spot that was hanging from somewhere some beam in the house again the father would have to set this up and it could get complicated sometimes so but yeah i remember so once the the kid hit the hit the pot and all the money was on the floor everybody would scramble for it so that was the 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 cheap thrills or the cheap joys of uh, of kids uh, back in the day for children's birthday parties. Uh, I know there's more. I, there's more, but there's not enough time to get into it. So yeah, Ricky remembers for this episode. Ricky remembers those simple but fun. More importantly, cheap, cheaper, more affordable children's birthday parties in the Philippines in the 80s. Again, thanks to Martina Lobregat and Carmen Lobregat for suggesting this topic. Uh, thanks Martina. So this episode is dedicated to you um, Because that's the topic. I'm right here in front of the party city here in Anaheim in Euclid uh, Street uh, Party city is where everybody goes here in the US to buy uh, Accessories and goods and sometimes even costumes for any party that they might have whether it's a birthday party or or any party at all the, everything is stocked here in party city so everybody would just go here so we don't have anything like this in the philippines but it would be great if we had like a one-stop shop for all of our party needs but ricky remembers back in the 80s when it was much simpler back then and children's birthday parties were not these big events or these big expensive elaborate events like they are right now so thank you for tuning in again don't forget to subscribe to click like and to comment on the comment section below and to share the video thank you to everybody who's uh, watching and following ricky remembers and tune again tune in again to the next episode thank you